and good for you to you all. Um, my name is Nathan Zanconda. For those of you who don't know me, I wear several hats today. I am uh, one of the councillors on Hawke Street City Council, and I'm also a school teacher, so I feel very comfortable in this environment. And I've taught at a number of, of local schools. Um, I'm also someone who spent a lifetime fostering youth and youth leadership and youth mentorship. So this is a very comfortable space for me. I'm here today on behalf of our Mayor, Councillor Les Sheba, who couldn't be with us this morning and who sent his apologies but sent his greetings to you all. The reason that we're here today is that almost exactly a year ago, it occurred to me that Council used to hold a youth summit every two years. But sadly, the last one that we ever held here in Hall Street was in 2017, and that's a long time ago. And for the last seven years, we haven't had a youth summit. I suspect COVID has something to do with that. But I was the person who realised that we really need to pick this ball back up. I brought a motion before our council for us to resume group youth summits and here we are today. So it gives me an enormous sense of satisfaction to see you all here. Council's social atlas informs me that there are 17,331 people aged under 24 in Hawkesbury. That is over a quarter of our population, 25.7%. The residency in the area is about 68,000 people. That's a greater percentage of young people than Sydney as a whole. So there are more young people as a proportion here in the North Street than there are here in other suburbs. I hope that in the through the day we have representatives from many of those age groups. There are 37 schools in the North Street, seven of them secondary schools, private and public, with young people like yourself. I did a calendar. Four of those schools. Our local government area is very large, 2,800 square kilometres. In fact, we are the largest local government area in metropolitan New South Wales. We just sit at that boundary between city and rural. So we're classed with the cities, but we're the biggest of them. I'm here today to tell you that your views are important and that your voices deserve to be heard. I'm here to tell you that you are not too young to hold opinions worth listening to on a variety of subjects. As a teacher, I see proof of this every day. I have found young people remarkably eager to express their opinions, especially on services and facilities that council can provide, on which we all truly can advocate for. I'm not kidding when I say to you that it will fall to you guys one day to fix many of the messes that people my age in the world have left for you. I apologise in advance. When we held a youth summit seven years ago, it permitted us to hear the views of young people and compile a large report containing an analysis of consultation with not only the young people of the Hawke Street, but with many stakeholder groups, which I hope are also going to be here today, who provide support in the areas of health, mental health, social services, sport, community services, pastoral care and recreation. I can tell you that that document was and remains incredibly valuable because the decisions that we make affect you. The spaces that you tell us that you value, like sports facilities, parks, bike tracks, services like transport, head spaces, drop-in centres, and in finding health when you start to confront more grown-up issues. After seven years, however, it's time to run it. We will spend the next couple of days exploring what your needs and ideas are for now and the future for a range of creative ways, including music production, street art, advocacy, leadership workshops, and much more. Your needs and wishes, I'm sure, will be as individual as you are. And this is a great form for exploring the kinds of things that are working well here in the Hawke Street and what can be improved. This event has been planned alongside a group of local young people. And Lauren Edinburgh, 
and the rest of the time, dear viewers, and uh, thank you. A two of those representatives from this group and will be your hosts over the next two days. I'd like to extend a special thank you to Lauren and Vanessa, along with other members of the planning group, for their commitment and hard work in bringing this event together. What makes this festival special is that it's the start of a new approach by our council to build connections and strengthen relationships with young people. Your stories and ideas that are shared over the next two days will help inform Council's near, new or year new strategy. So, I welcome you to the 2024 Youth Summit Festival of New Ideas, and I invite you to use this opportunity, starting tomorrow, to bring your ideas forward and to help shape the future of local projects and initiatives for young people throughout the region. We are so glad to have you here. You are in a unique position to make a difference. So enjoy yourselves and make your voices heard. I hope that you have a great time. Thank you very much.